Alright, so I'll try to make this quick and easy. The, uh, the reason I was building this little USB dongle thing was to connect radios to like a computer or Raspberry Pi uh, for ham radio use to be able to talk to people all over the world. Um, you can buy a full setup you know, online uh, for about 55 bucks up to 100 depending on you know the source or the person making them. I like a repeater builder uh, they're called rim lights and they make some that fit into the back of some radios and they make some that are similar to this with a serial or DB9 connector uh, and the reason I'm using this one specifically uh, let me see if I can flip this around is I like to connect here right so it'll connect into there and I can unplug the mic and plug in this basically a cat5 cable right and it plugs into the radio and then from there this USB side right here will plug in to I know it looks like a Nintendo but it's a Raspberry Pi in a case just like this one's in a case these two here are already connected to this okay and then so like okay what does that get me uh, don't really see what's going on so it actually has a web interface that's hosted by the Raspberry Pi and you can control um, what the, where the radio connects so like this one right here uh, and just so you know each setup is called a node so you like you have the Pi or a computer and then you have uh, a radio and together that's called a node so this node is connected to my club back in Vacaville California and then I have this one here which is number two over there, it's connected to this huge hub, right? Wind system, Los Angeles. What does that mean? Well, just to give you a kind of a, 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 an overview, this is how many nodes are connected to this main hub in California. You know, you can zoom in and out, and it's absolutely massive. You know, here I am over here, and little old me in the blue, but if I can zoom out, I'll do a reset, yeah, it's you can't. There's so many you can't even see. You can zoom in, and it's just crazy. So I have another one of these connected out in the garage. And I made a video with my buddies at North Northwest Ham Shack on that one specifically, but it's actually connected to a digital mode of radio. Not that this isn't digital, but it's not really. It's more analog than it is digital, but it has its own website interface, right? So this is really cool. If if someone was talking right now, you could you could listen in, and you could see who all has called in or has. There we go. There's someone trying to talk right now. But you can see like their call sign, and if you like long click on it, you can get some more information on it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It works better on a non Apple tablet, but I'm using this because it was this old one for my kids. But um, yeah, uh, I can kind of. See if someone's talking. Let's see. Eh, not really talking. But you can see that it keyed up here. You know, it says they're transmitting. Then it comes out on the radio. There you go. So hopefully that's kind of makes sense. I don't know. If you have questions, you know, just let me know. Thanks.